Hey guys and welcome back to another video. You might have seen my one recommended team from every league video from a few weeks ago. As you seem to enjoy that video, I thought why not make a similar video but showing one talent from every league aged 23 or under at the start of a new save that I would recommend you to sign in your career modes. The players I chose don't always have the highest potential from all the players in a specific league but I could have chosen them thanks to my experiences with those players in career mode or because there is a good storyline you can use with that player. If you go on and enjoy the video, be sure to give that like and subscribe to not miss any career mode videos. Now let's get into it. Let's start off in the Argentinian Primera División. We all know that plenty of big Argentinian players have come from this league over the years. My recommended signing is Nicolas de la Cruz. The Uruguayan player starts off at a 78 rating and has 85 potential. He also has 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Alongside that he has 85 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 92 agility, 85 balance, 93 stamina, 87 aggression and many other great stats. He can grow into a similar player like Messi only being 5 foot 6 and having great pace and dribbling skills. I used him in one of my FIFA 20 career modes and he had some insane stats a few seasons into the save. I have even used him for a bit in FIFA 21 and he is still very good to use. He can play in central midfield, attacking midfield or even as a winger. Unfortunately no player playing in the Australian league has 80 potential or higher. So the recommended signing for the A league is Al Hassan Touré. The Australian striker is a great player for a road to glory only being worth 540k and having 80 acceleration and 81 sprint speed from the start. He also has 77 agility, 74 balance and 74 strength. Touré starts off at a 60 rating and has 74 potential but can grow to a much higher rating with dynamic potential. Next up is the Austrian league. My recommended signing is Enoch Mwepu from Red Bull Salzburg. He was hands down my favorite player from FIFA 20 where he scored a ton of goals in my Hamburg career mode. In FIFA 21 he starts off at the 75 rating and he has 82 potential. Mwepu can play as a center mid, CDM and cam. He also has 83 sprint speed and 86 stamina and has high high work rates. I highly recommend to try the just 22 year old out in career mode. One of the most fun leagues to buy talents and hidden gems from is the Belgian Pro League. Hence I recommend to sign Liberato Kakache. A left back or left wing back from New Zealand joined St. Trudense last summer from the Australian League and seems to be doing quite well as he has a 73 rating and 84 potential in FIFA 21 right now. Being valued at only 5.9 million, the 19 year old has some great stats with 83 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, 85 stamina and 77 strength. You could play Kakache as a left back, left mid or even make him a centre back. Unfortunately the Brazilian league isn't licensed in FIFA 21 meaning the league is filled with fake players. Although these players are not real, there are some good talents in the league, such as Ronaldo Esler. The left back starts off at a 79 rating and has 79 potential, as he don't give fake players a high potential for some reason. Of course if you buy him in your team, he will get to a higher rating when dynamic potential starts to kick in and Esler has 90 acceleration and 89 sprint speed with very good dribbling stats already. If you are using A3 at the back formation, Esler is your man. Kim Min Ye is a fantastic centre back to use in FIFA 21 career mode. The Korean 23 year old starts off at the 74 rating and has 81 potential. He also has 80 sprint speed, 71 acceleration, 85 strength, 73 stamina and some good defensive stats. Being worth only 72 million pounds, Kim Min Ye is definitely a worth a try in your save. The Danish league is another great league to find some hidden gems to use in career mode. With Frank Onyeka, Micheland have a very overpowered defensive midfielder in her squad. The 22 year old starts off at a 76 rating and has 83 potential. Alongside that, he has 85 acceleration and 90 sprint speed with 85 balance, 81 agility, 80 strength and 92 stamina. A must try in your saves. Now on to England and the Premier League. We all know the league is filled with some of the world's best talents. One of my favourite talents this FIFA is Martin Oedeka, who is on loan at Arsenal from Real Madrid. 
The Norwegian Cam has 5 star skills, starts off at the 83 rating and has 89 potential. He also has some amazing passing and dribbling stats to go alongside that and he feels very good in game too. In the second English division, the championship, there are another bunch of really good talents in this league. Taden Mengi is on loan at Derby County from Manchester United and is a great cheap centre back option that can get in a road to glory squad nicely. He is valued at only 1.3 million, starts off at a 64 rating and has 82 potential. He has 72 acceleration and 79 sprint speed which is of course really good for a centre back as well. In the third English division there are still a few good talents you can pick up quite cheap. One of them is Ricky J Jones who might only be 59 rated at the start but he has 82 potential with a massive 91 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. For 630k you can pick up a fantastic player for your road to glory side. In league 2 there are no talents with 8 potential or higher. There are still quite a few good hidden gems who you can sign though. One of them is Josh Griffiths from Cheltenham Town who is on loan from West Brom. 18 year old goalkeeper has a 63 rating and has 79 potential. Being 6 foot 6 or 198 centimeters, the Englishman is a great pickup for any road to glory side as he is only worth 990k as well. On to another top 5 league is Ligue 1. The French first division has some incredible talent spread across the entire league, but my recommendation would be Ryan Kerki. 16 year old is one of the biggest talents in the world in real life and also in career mode with 88 potential. His first position is right winger, but I would recommend to change it back to Cam which was his original position. Kerke also has 5 star skill moves and 5 star weak foot with 84 dribbling, 81 balance and 80 agility. A very good talent to sign in career mode this year and he is worth only 4.2 million pounds. My recommendation from the second French division is Janis Antist. The just 17 year old striker starts off at a 67 rating and has 82 potential. He has 3 star skill moves and weak foot from the start already and has 80 acceleration and 79 sprint speed. Which means he will become a very basic striker when you are a few seasons into your career mode save. On to another big league is the Bundesliga. With the likes of Haaland, Sancho and Upamecano the league has some of the biggest and best talents in the world. But my recommended player is Silas Wama Kituka. The Stuttgart right midfielder who is better suited at striker in my opinion even broke the league's top goalscorer record in my Werder Bremen career mode at the start of FIFA 21, scoring 44 goals in one season and breaking Gerd Müller's record of 40 goals. A must try for any career mode player this year. I really like the second Bundesliga in Germany as there are a lot of good talents you can sign. One I would recommend to sign is Armel Bella Kocab. The 18 year old centre back is quite known in the career mode community as he is a great option for a road to glory team. He is very pacey with 71 acceleration and 74 sprint speed alongside 85 strength, 5 star weak foot and 85 potential. Even though he didn't have the best of debuts in my Werder Bremen career mode he is still a solid option to have in your team. Another good cheap centre back to go alongside Bella Kocab is Ari MB who plays for Bayern Munich's second team. 17 year old centre back also has 85 potential just like Bella Kocab and is a bargain at 1.1 million pounds. He has 67 acceleration, 72 sprint speed, 81 jumping and 72 strength from the start already. I always like doing a career mode in the Serie A. Fortunately Juventus and AS Roma aren't fully licensed in the game which turns a lot of people off of doing a career mode in Italy. A very fun player to try out in a save though is Theo Hernandez. The AC Milan left back is one of the best fullbacks to have in this game and with 90 acceleration, 93 sprint speed and 89 stamina is one of the best possible choices for the left back spot in your squad. In Japan, Tayo Goga is a great option to have as a cheap centre back. 21 year old already has 71 acceleration, 74 sprint speed, 75 stamina and 5 star weak foot from the start and is actually a good player in game as I used him at Visser Kobe in my journeyman save. Kim Yin Ya plays in the Korean league and has some very good stats for his 67 rated left back with 85 acceleration, 88 sprint speed 93 stamina, he is a bargain to pick up for 2 million. Definitely seems like a great road to glory option. Mexico has some very good talents playing in the league and Sebastian Cordova is my favorite one by far. I used him in my journeyman save as well when I was at Club America and the 23 year old has left mid as his first position 
but I highly recommend to play him in center mid or cam. His kicking technique is very satisfying as well. We all know the Netherlands has one of the best leagues to develop young talents and start their professional career. This year they have a lot of good talents again, including Louis Openda, who was one of my favorites in FIFA 20 career mode, and the 20 year old striker is currently on loan at Vitesse from Club Brugge and is known in the career mode community for being a very useful and pacey player. He starts off with 91 sprint speed and 95 acceleration already, combined with 92 jumping and will easily grow to 99 pace in your saves as well. Openda was very good in my Hamburg save in FIFA 20 and even grew to a 92 rating. From the Norwegian league I would recommend to sign Marcus Pedersen from Molde. 20 year old right back has 88 acceleration and 89 sprint speed with 83 stamina already and seems like a good pickup for the right back spot in your team. Kamil Piatkowski from the Polish league is a very interesting player to say the least. His first position is centre back but the second position is right mid. He does not have good attacking stats at all, but does have 80 sprint speed, 78 stamina and 82 strength. For 2.1 million you have a great centre back who starts off at a 67 rating and has 82 potential. And as you can see, he is on loan from Red Bull Salzburg. We all know Liga Nos is a fantastic league to buy talents from. This year they once again have a big pool of big talented players. One player I would recommend you to sign is Darwin Nunez from Benfica. 21 year old has been in great form this season and with 84 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, 83 shot power, 85 stamina and 86 strength, he is a great player to try out in career mode this year. He also has 86 potential and you can pick him up for around 11.5 million. The Irish league does not have any 8 plus potential talents unfortunately, most of the younger players have quite low potential. And even though he has 74 potential, I would recommend you to sign Darson Devoy from Bohemia. He starts off at a 57 rating but has some decent stats to start off with and has 4 star weak foot too. For less than 400k you can catch yourself a good road to glory player. Just for this video I will also be counting the rest of the world section as a league. There are plenty of teams from several different countries in this section and one player I would recommend you to sign in career mode is Vladislav Supriaga from Dynamo Kiev. 20 year old striker starts off at a 71 rating and has 82 potential. With his pace and good finishing stats, he is a great cheap striker to buy for 3.7 million pounds and you will definitely have a lot of fun using him as I enjoyed him in FIFA 20 as well. The Romanian league has some good hidden gems surprisingly. A good one is Florinel Coman. The left winger starts off at a 74 rating and has 81 potential with 89 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 90 agility and 85 balance. With 4 star scale moves you can pick Komen up for around 8 million pounds in career mode. Hamad Al Yami is a recommended player from the Saudi Arabian league. The right back has right winger as his second position and striker as his third option. A very versatile player who has 84 acceleration, 85 sprint speed and 85 stamina and he has some decent all round stats to start off with. Karamoko Dembele is a very hyped English talent who is currently playing for Celtic in the Scottish League. 17 year old starts off at a 63 rating and has 82 potential with 4 star skill moves and some good pace and dribbling stats. He might have some other low stats but with development plans you can turn Karamoko into a beast of a player. One of the most exciting talents in real life is Ansu Fati from Barcelona. 17 year old at the start of a new save is 76 rated and has 90 potential and can play in both wings and in the middle. A fun storyline to use in career mode is to make Ansu the new Messi and make him a legend in Barcelona. Nahuel Boosters from Girona is an underrated player in career mode this year. Only being worth 6.3 million pounds, he starts off at a 73 rating with 84 potential and has some great pace, shooting and dribbling stats already with good stamina as well. A highly recommended player to use. Another great CDM to partner with Onyeka is Yusuf from Göteborg. With 83 potential, 84 acceleration, 79 sprint speed, 89 agility and 90 stamina, he is a fantastic option to have at defensive mid and you can pick him up for 3 to 4 million pounds. One well known road to glory talent among career mode fans is Leonidas Sterju. 18 year old centre back starts off at a 67 rating and has 86 potential. With some good stats already you can pick him up for 2.2 million 
which is a real bargain for someone with that potential. From Turkey I would recommend to sign Altay Bayendir, who is a 22 year old goalkeeper playing for Fenerbahce. He starts off at a 75 rating and has 84 potential. He is also 6 foot 6 or 198 centimeters, so he is a great option for the goalkeeper spot. The last league where I'm gonna recommend a player from is the MLS. And the player is Jesus Ferreira, who grows some amazing stats every time when I'm a few seasons into a career mode. He has 81 potential and starts off with 84 pace, 82 stamina, 78 positioning, 74 finishing and 85 balance and he is available for around 2.6 million pounds. A must try in FIFA 21. These were all the leagues and run recommended talent to sign in career mode. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to not miss any other career mode videos. Let me know in the comments if you have some recommended players that other people should try in FIFA 21 and I will see you at the next video.